pain. Uh, this has been, this has not been my best day ever. Ow. Oh my. Ow. So sick. Kayla's down today. My day, to, my day to watch the kids. She did two in a row. Let's see what I can do. At least I can uh, get out of bed. Could not get out of bed Saturday. Barely got out of bed Sunday. Watch. Right, let's wash our hands. Make some oatmeal. Good morning. Where to even begin? I have not vlogged at all. Um, yesterday was a nightmare. Steven and I were both like fevers and achy. And then late afternoon, Steven took a bath and drank a smoothie. And then started becoming incoherent. It was just like not saying words. Uh, couldn't answer questions correctly. So I ended up calling 911 and the ambulance came and took him to the hospital and found that he had a fluid build up on his brain as well. And so they flew him to a different hospital. He had the flu, he was positive for the flu, he was dehydrated. The fluid on the brain is something that he has apparently had for a long time, uh, like since childhood possibly his brain is just like adapted or something um so they're trying to figure out what they're gonna do with that if they're gonna put in a stint to drain it or there's some people looking at his eyes as well to see if there's something going on with his eyes i don't know it's just been a crazy crazy time i did not sleep much i still feel sick I'm currently at the doctor right now with Rory uh, because she possibly has an ear infection. We had been doing really well with the eardrops and then we got sick and stopped doing them and I was just, I want to get, get in and see what's going on. So I'm going to do that before my mom ends up probably taking them so that I can go to the hospital tomorrow with Steven. Uh, so that's the plan. I'm so tired. I was up all night, like, not feeling well, and texting different people. Oh my goodness, this is a time. Why were you texting people? Oh, giving them updates about daddy. Yeah, we also had a neighbor come over and offer, I've had so many people offer to help, so that's good. Uh, that's really nice. But for now, we should go into this doctor's appointment and Maybe you'll hear from Steven later today because I'm sending his phone down with him. Because he didn't take anything. He was in too incoherent to do anything. He barely made it down the stairs. So, there he is. Hey, how's it going? Um, I can't really vlog with my left hand. So, we're in the hospital. Mark and my dad and my mom just got done hanging out with me. That was nice. They came down, spent, oh wow, a good while. What time is it? 4.30, uh, two, two and a half hours. And we waited for results. So I, let's do the backstory. Let's do that. All right, um, Saturday, I was sick. Sunday, very sick. I was losing more water than I was putting in. It was getting painful to like roll over and drink water, so my drinking was getting less and less. So by like Monday evening, I was I was getting pretty delirious. I had eaten a grand total of like 600 calories over the past three days, like, and now I'm out of water, and so I start going just delirious. It felt like I was trying to lock something in place, but anytime somebody talked, it kept moving out of place, and so I just kept whispering like, almost. Got it, come on, close, close. And I don't know whether I was trying to fall asleep or whether I, I was just imagining something going on, but it was this puzzle that was not coming together and I was stuck in a loop and I could not get out of this loop. So finally I'm like, 
Kayla, you need to call my dad and see if he thinks we should go to the, call the ambulance. Because I was pretty sure that I needed the ambulance. And I was like, ah, I am not doing well here. So they talked, I think. And then the ambulance comes and they come up the door. Rory's on the couch watching Clifford. And they come at the door and she turns over and she's like, is daddy gonna die? And mom's like, no, I don't think so. She's like, okay. She goes back to watch her show. <laughs> Glad she loves me so much. <laughs> they got me down the stairs eventually. It was that was quite a, a tr quite a trip. I was like super tunnel visioned and dizzy and delirious. So they're, they're trying to like ask me my name and I'm just like, no. I feel like I can say no. 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 And then I just like get frustrated and stop trying. What's your last name? Like, I couldn't remember my birthday or what month it was or who the president was, and, you know, things like that. I remember Kayla's name. I knew that one. So they got me to the hospital. They put me on fluids. I got two bags of IV fluids. So that made me start to feel better. But they weren't sure what was wrong because I wasn't really talking much. So I got COVID tests. I got flu tests. They got some, like, brain scans and different things. While they got those brain scans, they're like, hey, you've got fluid build up in your brain. Uh, that's not good. You need to get to Pittsburgh Hospital, like now. So then I got to ride the helicopter. I didn't have my phone for any of this. That would have been such good vlog content. Ugh. Even in my delirious state, I should have been able to think, I need to grab the phone. I need to grab... No, I was, I was so far out of it. We get in the helicopter, uh, which was, I mean, not all, all that exciting because I could, I'm sitting like this, there's a helicopter right here, EMTs right next to me, pilots right there, there's a door right here, so I can sit up to look down my feet and see the little window, and look up like that, to see out the other little window, that was about the extent of it. I think I looked three times, I looked during takeoff, I looked once shortly after takeoff, and saw Butler go past, then I looked up as we came into descent, because I could feel us pitch around. Twist around? Turn around? I feel like pitch is the right word. Pivot? Pivot around. Yeah. So then we got into Pittsburgh Hospital and immediately had everybody coming to my attention. I had like people in one arm drawing blood after vial after vial. I had a person on this other arm taking pulse and blood pressures and all these other things. I had a person asking me questions. Uh, I had a person standing in the doorway waiting to take me over to the MRI machine. So finally went, got the MRI done, which I was fairly unpleasant. I mean, it was fine. It's not the worst thing ever, but I don't want to do it again for a while. Then we come back, and more blood, more tests, more questions, people waiting to take my eye exam things, because I guess there's also pressure in my eye. They've determined, and I guess all of this, like, eventually ended up taking place to, like, 2 a.m., when the MRI guy comes back in, and he's like, so you have fluid buildup, these two top ventric, these sac things, where they're supposed to be fluid, I just have more than you're supposed to usually have. And then the third one also has a little bit extra, but there's a blockage between the third and the fourth, and the fourth drains down into the spine. He's like, we're gonna talk it to the, the eye people, get their feedback, and then we can make our final decision on what to do. So the eye people, we did that stuff today, I had multiple eye rounds and exams where they like pour this chemical in your eye that burns, dilates your eye, dilates, dilates, dil dilates your eye. Then all of that started at like 5 a.m. So like, I got a little bit of a break, I guess. Eight, eight to 10 range. I talked to Kayla for about an hour in there. I got to sleep for an hour or so in there. But the three o'clock hour is the only one I don't remember seeing on the clock. So then the eye doctor came back in. He was like, uh, it's not bad enough that we need to do immediate surgery. If it was just an eye problem, we would have you come back in like six weeks, test it all again, and if it's the exact same, then you're just abnormal. But since there's also brain issue, we're gonna pass this stuff on to the neuro department. Neurosurgeon can then decide if that is worth doing neurosurgery on because they might be connected. Now we are waiting for the neurosurgeon to get done in surgery, look at the eye surgeon's examination, and decide if he wants to drill a hole in my head. So, uh, what do you think? 
Should we do the like fryer haircut? Or just like full shave? Or do like a half shave? Or a mohawk down the middle? Do the blue mohawk. That'd be like my good chance to finally dye my hair blue. I think that's the majority of the good updates. Uh, I'll check in like later. Alright, update. I'm gonna just get watched for like two days. And then, if there's no issues and I'm feeling better, I'll get to go home. And so, Kayla and I were excited. And then, I was just gonna go get a room. But then, a different doc came in, maybe 45 minutes after the first one. I was like, hey, so, we're gonna cut into your head instead of not. I was like, oh, uh, okay. So, Thursday, we're gonna poke my brain. I'm tired, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go to my room so that I can get some food. I don't know what time the cafeteria is open until. The packet that they gave out says 11. The website says 8. I'm gonna guess the website's correct because it's a lot easier to change a website than it is to change a packet. I wonder if I'm allowed to leave, but I don't have a wallet. Kayla has my wallet. I'm gonna nap until they figure out where they're putting me. 9 o'clock. I'm tired. Ah, what a day. If there ever was a dude who deserved a tip, it was that nurse. He went up and grabbed just like a ton of graham crackers, as much peanut butter as you could fit in there. <sighs> and he's like, sorry, it's all I could find or get, or like you don't have, the like, kitchen's closed and they don't have anything at the moment or whatever. I was like, no, 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 that's awesome. And he was like already headed out, like he had clocked out, ran upstairs to a snack room or something, <laughs> grabbed a handful of junk, brought it down with some water. Dude's a legend. I'm gonna eat this. Maybe fall asleep. Get my drum cracker in, so it's getting ready to fall asleep. Nurse comes in, is like, all right, let's do some vitals and stuff. Check my temperature. It's kind of high. Have you been drinking enough? I was like, I just started drinking a few hours ago. Yeah, let's get you an IV bag. No, I'm in that. Got blood pressure things and got new stimulator thingies. I'm not even gonna fall asleep. I'm thinking this position. <sighs> nice. I'll try it out. I'm tired.